one day when the story of this country is told and they start telling you know fables that might one day become uh, movie scripts they will tell the story of a young boy called Gilbert who said at the age of 10 he wanted to fly who got a commercial license even before no his pilot license before he got his driver's license and at 23 years old started his own airline got a bank to, um, to give him and his friends money to buy a plane that person is today the director general of the kenya civil aviation authority it's captain gilbert kibe so you get appointed to the job i'm not even going to go there yes. but you find that we are in the middle of trying to achieve well what i guess for many would have been actually we're trying to go to the u.s yes now when i first met you you told me this has been almost a 10-year journey that's right so please tell me why we can't go we have planes we have pilots we have fantastic crew on board. Why can't we just go to the States? It's very simple. There's four things that we have to do to be we able to, to go things. to the States. Yes, we do have we to have do We have a plane. <laughs> you see, it's not just having a plane uh -huh. with pilots uh -huh. and crew ready yes. to go and you fly to the US. Uh -huh. No, 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 no. There, there are certain things that must be done. Okay. Number one, mm -hmm. the country where you're departing from mm -hmm. must be a category one status country according to the United States FAA. FAA is a Federal Aviation Administration of the USA. They are the equivalent of Kenya Civil Aviation Authority. And of they Kenya. have to give us category one. They have to give us category one in order to be allowed to fly into their airspace. So what does it take to do that? Mm -hmm. You need to simply uh, go through a checklist of 330 items that uh, is dealing with uh, eight critical elements of uh, aviation safety and, and over the oversight role of the Kenya Civil Aviation Authority. They have to be sure that we are capable, qualified and competent to run an uh, organized civil aviation system in Kenya. They must be satisfied. In order to satisfy them, you need to answer 330 questions. That is step one. Therefore, last year in February, Kenya was granted Category 1 status. But it took us 10 years to get there. Well, there's 300 questions, sir. I didn't realize it was that hard. It is that simple and that difficult at the same time. Because you must meet the criteria that they want. And all it is, they're removing it from the International Civil Aviation Organization, mm -hmm. rules and regulations, standards and recommended practices. So they want certain standards Things. and recommended practices ensured that they are being done by our civil aviation authority. So it took 10 years, because 10 years ago it was an idea. By the time the Americans decided, okay, let's listen to you about your wanting to get category one, that was six years ago. So then we started preparing for this ultimate prize that we received in February last year. So I came in at the tail end when there was only one and a half years to go. To go. But in order to, to do that, we had to do some drastic, okay, I had to do some drastic measures uh -huh. to speed up the process. Otherwise, it might take another. It was going to take another two, three years before it, it came. So we did that, then the Americans said, they called me and said, Gilbert, the boss of FA called me and said, Gilbert, I've decided to give you category one status. Okay, we've got category one stage test, we've got a yeah. plane, we've got pilots and crew. Why can't we go? The next thing you need to do, <laughs> the airline itself that wants to fly to the U.S., uh -huh. in this case, it's KQ. Yes. That airline has to be granted commercial authority to operate. That is known as traffic rights. You know you've heard of traffic rights. Mm. Airlines are given traffic rights to go to a, another country. Yes. That right is granted by the Ministry of Transport in the U.S. That's a whole the, other body. It's another body. It's the Department of Transport. But they're the ones who own the Federal Aviation Administration. It's like how we have our Ministry of Transport and Infrastructure mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. We, they are the ones who grant traffic rights for airlines to come to Kenya. So their counterpart in, in the U.S. Mm -hmm. does the same. So in June last year, um, after we got Category 1, mm -hmm. the Department of Transport granted Kenya Airways traffic rights to the U.S. Okay. That is the economic rights? authority to operate. Aha. Uh -huh. We have traffic rights? Yes. Have category 1. So we've got Category 1 first. Traffic rights 2. Number three. Yes, number three. We still can't fly. No, 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 no. You cannot because Why? the airport that you will be departing from mm -hmm. to go to the United States yes. must be cleared by the Transportation Security Administration for security 
audit, meaning that the United States TSA has to be satisfied that each passenger and their baggage has done and the any cargo that gets into that airplane that's going to the U.S. has been screened properly. properly so that we can avoid acts of unlawful interference, which is another name for, for terrorists and, um, and, and other, yeah, yes. uh, other not nice things to happen. Because when you land in the U.S. soil, mm -hmm. they don't want any trouble. No. And that trouble to come from Kenya? No. Even we don't want that. Even we don't want that. Okay. Therefore, we're being audited for that. And now that last point of departure clearance is granted to our airport. Jomo Kenyatta International Airport is the airport that is the aircraft will take off from to go to land at John F. Kennedy Airport in the U.S. That audit is going to be done Hold very on. soon. No, I've, I've just had a crash course in coming to America. Mm -hmm. So it's not just KQ is going to the States in October. <laughs> no. no, this meant no. three different bodies on that side and three different bodies on this end had to get things together. But there's a fourth one. No, I need a break. <laughs> no, because I started off with, we've got planes, yes. nice ones. Yes. We've got pilots, we've got yeah. crew. Then he said, you know, category one, we got that. But apparently category one is awarded, that was now his job. Kenya Correct. Civil Aviation Authority. And Kenya and is what was awarded, awarded category ca one. So that was us. Yes. And then after that, the airline itself must be, must be told sour. Yes. And then the airport yes. must be told sour. Last point of Nab departure clearance. Nabado. The final pa one. Pana. <laughs> <laughs> Subscribe. Tell your friends yeah. that they don't know what it takes to go to America. And I had a valid visa. Five years actually. <laughs> <laughs> and yet we couldn't go. Not if we were flying KQ. Yeah. But apparently one more. I know. You're sitting there saying, how many things do we have to do? that many. His name is Captain Gilbert Kibe. He's the DG, the Director General of the Kenya Civil Aviation Authority. And he is giving us the 101 on how we went to America. Our children will be told this story. Mm -hmm.